Hey, what's up guys? So a couple days ago on the vlog, you saw me go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is like the 99 cent store and they've got all kinds of cool stuff. We went up and down the aisle, checked out all the stuff. And the idea came to me, can you do a bug out bag from a dollar store? And so I kind of already spoiled the surprise. I had been up and down through Dollar Tree. I thought this is easy. You can obviously do this. But the products, I already saw it, so it wasn't like a surprise seeing the new stock for the first time. So instead of going to Dollar Tree, I went to the 99 cent store. The 99 cent store that I did the video on the $3 a day challenge like three years ago, same place. Went in blind, looking to make a bug out bag, started going down, up and down aisles, just pulling items, throwing them into the cart. I bought way too much stuff, first of all. So I'm gonna pare a lot of this down and I'm gonna go through my thought process as I do it. For everything, it came to about $67. Now, probably 10 or more dollars of that is just stuff for the home, Leia and Ben and whatnot, candy and got a little plastic uh, toy, whatever. But let's go through this and first, foremost, the idea of this bug out bag is California Ite or a state relatively like Southern California. You're gonna keep this in your car and it's gonna last you one to two days, depending on how vigorous you have to walk from point A to point B, or if you're not walking, it should be able to handle that. And there's some variable things that you can either add in or take out and, and go that way. So first and foremost, let me get something out of the way. 99 cents store didn't have any backpacks. So combination of this tote bag and these two courier bags are gonna be, oh, I bought three courier bags, didn't realize that. These courier bags are gonna kind of break up the food, your tools, your fire, and all that stuff separately. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way and we'll start going through it a bag at a time. First and foremost, this is a variable item. You can decide whether you want to use this or not. Four foot by six foot tarp, 99 cents. Don't expect a lot. It's probably very cheap. Probably doesn't last very long, but again, it's a, it's a two day bag. $2.99 for this, four glasses of, what is this, Cabernet Sauvignon? Cabernet Sauvignon. They had beer. They had ready to drink mixed drinks, like frozen mixed drinks, but we went with the Cabernet Sauvignon because it's a higher alcohol content for not much more liquid volume. And these are in plastic pods that I feel are going to travel better than glass. Six pack of water, okay? This is something you should probably have two of, but if you're gonna be carrying it, water is very, very heavy to carry. So keep that in mind. Steel wool, this is a ton of steel wool. I'll explain this, but it's totally a fire starter item. This coupled with a nine volt battery is one of the primary items to start fire. Toilet paper, <laughs> toilet paper. Primary, very important thing for going out wherever, bug out bag, very important to have toilet paper. It'd be nice if you get the smaller rolls, but what you can do is you can take this and squeeze it down, smash it, get a Ziploc bag, and tightly pack it and suck all the air out. These loaf pans, these two pound loaf pans, the reason I got these is to go with the cook kit. And what I'm gonna do, or what you can do, is you cut this in half and you can, or form it to a shape you want, and then you're gonna put your fire underneath it. This is also the cook pot. It's a dog bowl, but it's per roughly the size of a single person to boil water for some of the dried food that we got. Sterno can. Sterno can is going to be your, your fuel, your fire, everything you desire. So basically, you're gonna take this, form it around the top, poke holes on the side, poke holes here, open the top, and then that's how you're gonna run your fire. Realistically, like I said, you can kind of cut this down the middle, fold it over, and then you've got a good cover, and then this sits on the top of it, and there's your fire. Here's your stove, basically like this. If you do it right, all of this should fit into each other, including the, the foil. You can even make a lid out of the other piece. Twine as a toss up here. This is something that's a variable item. You don't need to take this if you don't want to because I got something else that I think easily replaces twine and is a bit more multi-function use, usable, which is this galvanized wire. This could be used for a lot of purposes, one of which is making an impromptu shelter out of your tarp. It could also be used for snares, but if you're trying to snare food in a two day time period, that's probably a bit unrealistic. This is kind of cool. Purell hand sanitizer, not a very big thing, right? But when, I, when I, I got the package in my hand, it says stay healthy and mission ready, and it's got a kind of a military material. It's like a like military grade bottle. It looks very surplusy, and it says FST on the outside next to the Purell. So I was even thinking about dumping the Purell out of this and replacing it with alcohol, like denature, I'm sorry, isopropyl alcohol, which is what they had on, on stock. The only problem with the alcohol was only 50% alcohol, which is very, very weak. So this could be a fire starter. This could be prep for a wound. If you had a wound, burns like hell, but hey, that'll get things clean. Absorbent drying cloth or a chamois. 
Lots of reasons to have this, although this is a variable item. This could make bandaging material a blood stopper. Multiple purposes for that, but it's totally variable. It's bright orange in case you need a signal. Doesn't matter. That's a, that's a, that was just an easy grab. I got two of these index card cases. This is gonna be the case for the first aid kit and case for fire starters. Safety pins, you only need a couple of them, but now you have a bunch. Multi-purpose ties. I think this is more useful than the twine or the wire necessarily, but you you can use these again, string them together and make a shelter. You can use it to lock something together. There's all kinds of purposes. I think it goes better with the, the twine because I think you'll be able to pull it tighter. Glove, pretty self-explanatory. You don't know exactly what you're gonna be dealing with. So these are just a sanity item. One of the two flashlights I got, this is a rubberized flashlight. Facial cleansing strips. No, this is for my wife. Two nine volt batteries. You really only need one if you're gonna use it as a fire starter. Utility knife. This is a ridiculously cheap one though. You can't even barely get the whole thing out. There you go. Couple that with this Premier paring knife. The reason why I went with this over some of the larger kitchen blades is that this comes with a sliding plastic sheet that you can put on it. Here's the other light. They're both garbage, but we'll try them. Diagonal cutters, if you're using the wire and you want to keep the tarp and you can just, you want to go in the morning, you just use the diagonal cutters, cut them off. Diagonal cutters have a lot of good uses so that you don't have to use your blades. And both these blades are pretty weak so you don't want to use them. A couple of food items, and, and we're gonna go into food right now, and I think you'd only take one or two of these, is energy drink items, like the five hour shot. If this is just a two hour bag, and you've gotta walk a long distance, Mom. and don't exactly know your mental state, or Mom. what happened, Mom. this could be good to keep your energy up. Okay, food items, I'm a little light. I think you could probably do with a bit more. I tried to go with very low preparation items. The only thing that you have to prep, or, uh, prep is hot water. The hot water is for top ramen. Well, I'm missing one of them, but there's supposed to be three of these. One per meal, and then with some of the other stuff here, that's probably okay to be good for a day or two. Assorted meat stick. This is a teriyaki. This is a, oh, chorizo. I guess I got the wrong one. And then these are the Sasquatch hot spicy links. It doesn't really matter. These are just the ones I grabbed. Power bar. Protein bar, you can eat this while you walk. Spam in the single pack. Yeah, two of the spams, single pack. I like these because they're light and the you don't have to worry about the metal can. Bubble bee tuna, it's a variable. You can, you can get rid of the spam and keep the tuna. It doesn't matter whatever you like. Peanut butter, peanut butter in these little to-go cups. Really, really good source of calories. Forgot two items from the, the tools or the miscellaneous. Duct tape, they don't have silver. And your lighter, your lighter is very important. This is your fire, your primary fire. Going through my bags here, I realized there's another item. Pistachios, another good source. Light packaging, easy to take and easy to take and carry. Threw some batteries in that three cell AAA light. Not bad. If you wanted to bring some extra AAAs, that's fine. If you wanted to take the extra one and have them both have batteries in it, might not be a bad idea. Might be able to trade with somebody if you ever, you know, we're out and about, whatever. So a first aid kit's kind of a hard thing to build from the 99 cent store because you really don't know how good the material is. You don't know if it's expired in the case of the adhesive of, of, of Band-Aids, for example. But there's a couple staple items that you should probably have. The first is one of these bandage rolls. Comes in a somewhat sterile packaging. Can you trust it? I don't really know, but if you need it, it doesn't really matter. Roll of the elastic bandage. This is to hold something like this on, or a couple gauze rolls. Got these as well. Package of ibuprofen. I was gonna get the single serving packages, but they only gave you six versus this is 40. And ibuprofen is much more useful than Tylenol or aspirin in most cases. Band-Aid, don't know how well these are gonna work. Stickiness is a problem with these. And crazy glue, important from a medicine standpoint. If you have a cut and you don't really have anything to suture it and it's opening up on you, but you've got it dry and not bleeding, crazy glue, that sucker closed. Okay, here's the items all laid out on the table. Water, wine, toilet paper. Ben's little toy gun there. Fire starter, lighter wire, zip ties for shelter, there's a tarp, duct tape, two knives, utility knife, two flashlights, twine, you got your food here in the middle, two ramen, should be three, I don't know where the other one is, pistachios, a couple of beef jerkies, protein bar, three energy drinks, spam, tuna if you need that, three things of peanut butter, and then here's your, your medicine side. So let's see if I can package this all up in a way that doesn't take up this much space.
So I conveniently labeled all of these. First aid, tools, this is your food bag, this is shelter, fuel, and toilet paper. And by fuel, I mean an extra one of these cans. The water and the wine, wine can go in the bag. I would assume that you'd leave the water loose and I would augment this with a full case of water, if not bigger jugs of water. Let's see how it all goes together. And then when you're all done, seal the whole thing up with a zip tie. Maybe even tie these things together. And throw it in your car or whatever. So the best thing about this tote bag is in the apocalypse, You'll totally be nondescript. Am I right? Okay. Ugh. Appreciate you guys watching. Pretty simple video, but I wanted to show that while this is not quality goods, I got everything you need really for a couple of days. Definitely the tools. You could probably augment more food. You definitely need some more water. But you could even make like a filter for water at 99 cent store if you wanted to. It's amazing what they have in there. Again, this is not the most expensive stuff. If you needed it and you didn't have it and you were saving up to get better stuff, you could start out here. First thing you do is probably upgrade your, your exterior here, get a better bag, but you can build upon this, right? And that'll get you closer to having something, particularly in your car, maybe one for your home, than nothing right so think about it like that if you're sitting on the fence not buying things because you think it's too expensive to get the quality stuff you're right but that doesn't mean you can't play you're just gonna have to play a little bit lighter and to start okay all right guys thanks a lot i appreciate it if you want to watch the behind the scenes and getting ready for everything and walking through the store check out my vlog it's uh right here all right thanks a lot uh four cleansing strips for my wife and what are these martha stewart's new year celebration and classic thanksgiving awesome for your bug out party. Yeah, yeah, all the way to the